Hello and welcome to another edition of Test Chamber. I am joined by Brian Vohr. Hello, Jeff Cork. And I'm the notoriously bad person who never introduces himself. <laughs> Jeff Cork, filling in for Andrew Reiner. When we're checking out Professor Layton in the Miracle Mask. That's correct. And you were, you were hands on the stylus. Yeah, I'm using a giant novelty pen right now instead of a stylus because <laughs> we couldn't find one. <laughs> but it seems to do the trick, and I may just do this permanently with 3DS games. It is quite comical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so this is the first Layton to appear on uh, uh, 3DS. Made the jump from the normal DS, and you can see, looking around, that there's uh, a little bit more visual action going on here. Mm -hmm. Instead of just tapping on the touch screen to find hint coins and stuff, you now control... It, uh, now the visuals are on top, and you use the touchscreen at the bottom as kind of like a mouse. And there's panning and scrolling and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And you will not be able to see it, disappointingly, but the 3D looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Just when relax your eyes, maybe. When you pop it on. It, it really uh, has a feeling of perspective. They, they make every map uh, with some stuff in the front, and then they always kind of go off to a point in the back. So it's kind of a cool thing. Cool so we'll just take your word for that, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's just believe me. I would this lean is... over and look, but you know how the 3D effect doesn't really translate. No, no, it doesn't. No. So, so what's going on right here? This is the prologue. Yes, we are in uh, the city called Monte Dor, uh, which is uh, French, I believe, or mm. City of Miracles. Interesting. And we've come across a clown that was tied up and. Uh, is now floating in the middle of, of town. That doesn't work in real life, for the record. No? Tying balloons. You would need way more balloons. Wasn't there that guy who was uh, in a lawn chair and yeah. had a bunch of balloons to himself? Yeah, he had, a, he had a BB gun that he would pop them periodically to control his altitude. So. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Did he die? <laughs> <laughs> I think eventually, but I don't think it had anything to do with that stunt. Oh, okay. So okay. this is the first Professor Layton game where Luke and the Professor are rendered in 3D as opposed to a beautiful hand-drawn illustration, correct? That is right. Um, Uh-oh. Uh, and you can see, too, like, with this guy, Luke and Layton are on screen, are on screen right now, but this guy, you can kind of see up top, it's kind of the new, like, cell shade look, mm -hmm. which uh, at first you're kind of like, I don't know, but uh, you kind of get used to it after a while, and uh, the guy's... Uh, Oh, this is a tough one to start with, just to like yeah. finish quickly. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a first for the series, untangling string. When I say that with complete and utter sarcasm, it seems like the bread and butter for the series, but at least get it out of the way immediately. Uh, <laughs> darn it. Yeah, this takes some thinking. Uh, I'm going to restart So I'm going to stall. I'll say, look at all the different colors of balloons, and they really pop in 3D. Um... There are some shrubs in the background. And you're using the stylus here, right, Brian? Yes, I sure am. All oh. right. What? Dang it. And you have zero... Oh, you have six coins? Is that what's going on there? Here we go. Well, that's the number of moves. I'm so smart. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. God, nice. that always feels good. Yes. You that look for the tells of Layton sure. when he's, like, getting mm -hmm. closer to the mm -hmm. screen, like, mm -hmm. oh, I think I've got it. He looks confident. <laughs> he just barfs in his hat. He's not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Picarot's return is your point system. So can you tell me, without spoiling anything, this miracle mask? Is it an item worth covering? Is uh, it good? It's supposed to hold ultimate power. Um, lots of people are after it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it looks kind of cool and creepy. Okay. But, uh, you know, if you stick around, you might get to see it in action. All right. So as you can see, the uh, Professor, look at that fantastic uh, animation is back, too, you. so it's not totally replaced by <laughs> poly polygonal graphics. Kind of get a look at... Wow. A nice mm. little intro there, huh? Very nice. This is but yeah, these are also Everyone in 3D, so, you time. know... You can see kind of perspective, like those and people would be a little pulled front. After mm -hmm. our investigation. You know, all this stuff falling through the air is kind of in the foregroundation. 
Once we're able to relax, we'll see what the town has to but, offer. But, um... Alright, so we're gonna go to the town. <gasps> Something cool. Real. Something cool's gonna happen here. Professor, what was that? Uh... It really looks nice in the in the widescreen, and I think the compression looks looks a lot less noticeable uh, on this than it has in DS games. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of artifacting Stone. on the videos. Quickly, so that's great. And uh, they also have the uh, the close the uh, you know the screen captions on the bottom screen, so they don't cover up the image either. Oh, that's cool. Uh oh, see. He's a smart guy, mm -hmm. but he also has a, a lot of dexterity. I was going to say tender side, but yeah. yeah, I think dexterity is probably what's going on there. Yeah, as you've seen in past games, he can drive like crazy. He's kind of like a uh, puzzle solving James Bond. Mm -hmm. He can drive like crazy. He's pretty good with a uh, fencing Statues? foil. Yep. Is that what you call those things? Yep. He's a responsible pet owner with that hamster. Yeah, that's right. Hi! So yeah, the people just turn to stone and everyone's going crazy okay. here. You don't talk to cl just clowns in this game. There are other normal humans. Okay. How is that possible? A vet? We're just gonna just gonna go quickly here. Yeah, let's see some puzzles. I'm sure you're wanting the same thing. Uh oh. Did you miss me? This is the uh, the masked gentleman. Hmm. Uh, he is responsible for the turning people to stone stunt. He's very poncy. Yeah, <laughs> it's a great alias. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. It'd be a fun Halloween costume if you could track down all these fancy little clothes. <laughs> if, I could, if I wanted to put in all the effort, it would be, oh, look at that. That is now out of my league for a Halloween costume. <laughs> Come on, you can't find any angelings anywhere? <laughs> Maybe a sexy angel that I could modify. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Professor! Luke! <gasps> what are you waiting for? Ah, a written invitation? But yeah, if you played uh, The Last Spectre, you'll recognize Emma. Wait! And she's, uh... She was more like super kung fu ass kicker in the <laughs> last game and I doesn't really do any of that now. It. Wow. This <laughs> horse sucks. <laughs> Let's go. Everyone follow me. He is the best horse, yeah. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> wow. I would love it if they made, like, a plushy version of Luke's just terrible horse. <laughs> they should just make a Luke game. I think it's about time for Professor Layton to kind of move aside. You think he could carry his own game? I think so. He's quite smart. He says, I've got it. Oh, so this is a rare action sequence in the Professor Layton games. Gentlemen. You kind of swipe the screen to mm -hmm. stay yeah. out of the way of the barrels. That horse is quite good at lateral motion. It really is. That's what they're built for, Come you know. On, we've almost got him. So we're on a cylindrical world. Mm -hmm. Basically, we just kind of have to stay alive and take the right path. I must have gone the wrong way or something. Yeah. But there's just a bunch of forked... Oh, good. Fork paths. Oh, he's going to the right. Yeah. So we're, yeah. we're good. Um, but yeah, when I played this, I was like, oh man, maybe there'll be a lot of little action sequences of lots of variety in this game. But there really isn't. The yeah. Uh, yeah. the horse chase does return. Here we go. Later on, you can kind of compete to try to get high scores and stuff. Go. But Okay, Whoa. so it remains a horse. It's not like you're suddenly in a carriage that basically oh, is the same thing with a different skin. Duh. Oh no. Uh oh. Um Yeah, but you can be like Luke on his dumb little horse <laughs> or Emma on her her horse. Go. Wow. Maybe it's Emmy, I don't remember exactly. Here we go. Um This is a really bizarre way to start the game off. Yeah, you'd think they would have more pulse pounding music, but it's really just like yeah. you know, lounging around. Yeah. Yeah. Back. Yeah. So what's the, you know, re referred to the like, the uh, hamster mini game kind of thing? Is there like an overarching yeah. meta game going on here too? Like between levels, is the professor doing anything interesting, or is he just here straight up devoting all of his attention toward the storyline? Well, they have the standard three kind of collectible mini games. Mm -hmm. There is a 
robot that's kind of similar to the hamster where you kind of have to guide it on a grid path and like use it to get to a certain goal and it, it moves a certain amount of spaces and there's bad guys that move all around um, the same amount of spaces each time. Um, so you collect those and try to figure it out. And then uh, for those who, of you who love hamsters, there's also a little uh, bunny rabbit mm. that's uh, really cute and you get it to perform little plays so that it could, can get back into the circus. Interesting. Work its way back, you know. I've had Magic seemed to be the two only rabbits in real life, and that, that never happened. Do you ever all. get them to do uh, pretend to be Professor like cowering Esther in fear, and then like a backflip, and then cowering in fear? <laughs> that happened a lot. Yeah, because you had yeah. a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. In the same house. No, actually, the rabbit was like alpha male, even though she was a female. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's an exciting glimpse into my life during this test chamber. See, there's uh, we're peeling back the layers. Um, let's see, what is the other? Oh yeah, there's like this shop uh, puzzle. Mm -hmm. See, imagine this in 3D. I mean, look at how cool that is. Oh Professor, yeah. <laughs> do you know someone named Angela Lador? Angela? But yeah, this is a flashback yes, of to when. Uh, Where did you hear that name? It was I guess you can't letter. skip these. A letter. Let to when professor. Leighton first got a letter summoning him to Montador from his old old friend Angela, Angela Lador. Ah. All these years. So Here you yet are. another um, Thank you very much, Luke. Lady friend from his past that they may have some kind of romantic tension going on. Interesting. There. Did they Strange. did they have to take a train ride to this I town wish. or is it just is it, I don't know, is they there. Professor? They, I think they take the late chaos. mobile to get there. Really? Yeah. So like chitty chitty bang bang. Basically. <laughs> we don't get to see that, so we're gonna have to assume. Ah. All right. We skipped a little bit ahead there, because there's some unskippable letter reading that we uh, didn't want to subject you to. Uh, another nice thing about the new uh, navigation is that um, moving to the next screen is separate from just tapping around for hint coins so you won't accidentally walk down an alley when ah. you're just looking just looking for a little uh, bit of hints in you know the lamp posts and mm -hmm. <laughs> any flag poles and things like that and this game does something interesting too where you can aren't they saying they're going to support it for a full year with uh, like a puzzle a day download yes uh, every single day there'll be 300 there'll be uh, one a day uh a new puzzle hmm. for the from the internet. So if you buy it like a month after it comes out, you'll start out with, you know, thirty or so mm -hmm. extra puzzles right in there. And how many puzzles would you estimate are in the game itself? Like how much time are we looking at we're gonna play through this? Included on the game in the game there are hundred and fifty puzzles. Mm -hmm. Thereabouts. And um, I figure Depending on how thorough you are, you're going to spend probably at least 20 hours if you actually watch, you know, pay attention to the story, mm -hmm. you know, watch the cutscenes, read these all these conversations, which we're, labor <laughs> we're just laboriously skipping through right now. Yeah. This girl lost her mom. And it's, let me spoil it for you. Yes. It's not the last time she loses her mom. Oh, brother. It's a recurring theme throughout the entire game. That's fantastic. Oh, here we go. We got a nice little puzzle here. So, Jeff. Yes. Want me to read this out loud real quick? You can. Uh, and also want to see if your brain power, if you can oh, figure out who boy. it is. Here we go. My mommy has red hair and a pink purse with a bear on it. The women below were overheard saying, Look how stylish everyone is today. Hold on. This isn't my purse. I'm actually a man. My purse is a blue one. Hmm, this bag isn't mine. It has the wrong pattern. Which one is the girl's mother? All right, this is where I just provide a lot of dead air. While I think. <laughs> so, let's see here. Yeah, so, so... Everyone does indeed look stylish. You can use this finger to pick people. And, and uh, she's not an option. Okay. But you can use this to pick people. You can also flip the text up top. Okay. Flip it. Oops. No, oh. no. Wait, okay. Is that a nod yes? 
I think it's like, do you really want this? Like, this is uh, the person you've chosen. Okay. You can make the text go on the top screen or bottom screen, which is okay. nice to have that flexibility between different puzzles, whether you want the uh, to work work around down downstairs and read up top or mm -hmm. vice versa. So it's kind of a nice, flexible thing. I'm going to unselect this person. Yeah. There you go. So we were just looking for the mom. We do not care about the other ones, right? That's right. Okay. So... Everyone's telling the truth here. So A is a useless statement. Mm -hmm. B, hold, hold on, this isn't my purse. Mm -hmm. So we know the mom has red hair. Right. And a pink purse with a bear on it. Okay. So we can immediately get rid of A. Right. So it's either B or E. Well, B says this isn't my purse. Right. So pink with a bear, so... Mm -hmm. So that she could, she can't be, you know, immediately removed from it. So yeah, actually a man. What's up? Yeah, with I that? don't know that that's gonna really help us out. Well, I guess. I guess. I don't know. My purse is a blue one. Mm -hmm. So D usually has a blue one. This bag isn't mine. It has the wrong pattern. So have B and E. They've changed. They've switched purses. Mm -hmm. So we need a purse with pink purse with bear on it. Hmm. I like B. Let's see what happens. How's Come this on, Luke. Yeah. 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 I'm ready for I feel more. quite good about that. You think the girl would say, um, mom? <laughs> but. but. Oh, there she is. Oh, her hat uh, is so low. She just totally ditched that purse now. Yeah. And they've disappeared. Yay. So, right. puzzle. That is, uh, that's Professor Layton in the Miracle Mask in a nutshell. There's mm -hmm. a segment later on uh, that is actually, you actually control Layton. It's a top down dungeon crawler, if you can believe it. What? Yeah, you uh, push boulders around. Solve puzzles, avoid scary mummies. Hmm. Of course, they're robot mummies. They can't be real. Is it something you return to over and over and over again, like Phantom Hourglass? No, it's just it's one. Just its own deal. It's one, uh, one entire chapter. So it's pretty lengthy, mm -hmm. but you're in it, in it for quite a while. Cool. Lots of levels to go down. Yeah, I like this series. So it's good to see it's the same, but in 3D and. Yeah, and there's already another one announced for Japan after this. In addition to the uh, Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney, which is coming very soon in Japan, uh, that'll be this year. So keep an eye out for that, and uh, let us know uh, what uh, what you think of the game in the comments. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us, Brian. I guess it's not really us. But we're pretending Jason doesn't exist. I'm, I'm so rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, thank you for tuning in. And uh, join us for another episode of Test Chamber later.